right, everybody, welcome back to the Cabral Concept. Today, we're gonna to be going over an extremely important show, and that's how to boost your own natural killer cells to attack cancer. This is extremely important for anyone, really, any age of life. And the reason is we're seeing cancers through all ages, and we're seeing people's with a weakened immune system. So if you have a weakened immune system, it may not be cancer, but it's all sorts of different viruses and other issues. So now that I've said that, I have to give you my disclaimer. I can't provide any medical advice, medical treatment plans, medical cures, medical diagnosis. But I am going to share with you clinically, scientific, rigorous-based evidence medicine of how to boost your own immune system, and that includes natural killer cells specifically, that have a cytotoxic effect on the cells. That means it kills the cancer cells. Okay, so one of the things that I think you'll find very interesting as well is one of the new sciences is actually taking your natural killer cells and T cells and reprogramming them to go and find the cancer cells in your body, which I think is pretty amazing, right? How can we take how our body was designed to work and make it work even better, especially for all those cancers that have found ways to hide in their own cellular matrix, like a pancreatic cancer or others, right? All right, so let's get after this. Let's really figure out how we can improve our natural killer cells. So the first one, and I'm gonna give you different categories, and then I'm gonna wrap up with some of my favorite nutritional supplements that I use for cancer-based support. Again, not clinical treatment plans, not medical advice, can't, can't say that, but how I help provide support. And then also, I have a massive trove of natural cancer-based research at stephencabral.com slash cancer. It's completely free. Uh, it is quite a lot of information, but it's everything that someone going through a cancer-based diagnosis, I think, needs to know. And again, there's no opt-in, there's no anything. It's just stephencabral.com slash cancer. Please do feel free to share that with anybody. Okay, so diet and nutrition. Well, there's a few, and I'm just gonna give you the highlights. An anti-inflammatory Mediterranean-style diet is one of the best things that you can do because inflammation is going to suppress the immune system to a degree or dysregulate it, hurting your natural killer cells. Now, what boosts natural killer cells? Garlic and onions. So adding garlic to your dinner on a nightly basis, amazing. How much? Half a clove to a clove. Great amount to put in there. You can do that. You can even crush garlic and swallow it. Great for parasites, good for the digestive system. Might need to work up to it, but certainly you can do that. Onions, another great way to increase natural killer cell cytotoxic activity. Um, EGCG, another great one. What's that from? Green tea. So I've talked about it before, but ceremonial grade matcha green tea, amazing. I take a few different nutritional supplements that have EGCG, and that's already in there because I'm not, a, and I don't love uh, green tea, the taste of it. Um, but again, you could use that or you can take a nutritional supplement. I'll talk about that later. Cruciferous veggies. Broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, uh, asparagus, bok choy, like all of the great cruciferous veggies. I know people tell you that vegetables are somehow bad for you. I, I, I literally cannot uh, understand those people. Um, it's just, it's, I don't want to go on a rant, but it's beyond my wildest uh, comprehension as to one of the things that nature gave us that's proven over and over and over to be one of the only things that's anti-cancer. The only things that we know that are anti-cancer are in the fruit and veggie kingdom. That's it. Doesn't mean you can't eat meat. Doesn't mean you can't eat eggs. But fruits and vegetables, the only things that we know that help to prevent cancer. And that includes olives, olive oil, et cetera. All right. Um, another one, mushrooms. We'll talk about those a little bit later during supplements. But sh shiitake, maitake, reishi, um, turkey tail, amazing nutritional supplements. Rich in beta-glucans that activate these natural killer cells. Also found and oats as well, oatmeal. All right, so let's move on. Let's talk about overall lifestyle. How do we combat the decrease in natural killer cells? Because believe it or not, sometimes it's not just boosting our own natural killer cells, it's not decreasing them. Well, what decreases them? Not enough sleep, right? Literally less than seven hours of sleep a night and then also poor quality sleep. So track your sleep, aim for greater than 75 to 90 minutes of deep, more than two hours of REM. Exercise. It enhances natural killer cell mobilization. Literally, it can be a brisk walk, zone two cardio, strength training. They're all great. Not overdoing it, which could suppress the immune system. Sauna, heat exposure, increasing heat shock proteins. 
another great thing. I can't recommend sauna enough. Four to five times a week, 20 to 30 minutes is heat as much as you can tolerate. That's that's like how high, how hot should it be? What can you tolerate for 20 to 30 minutes? That, that's what really what it is. Uh, amazing. And then meditation, breath work, laughter. Like that's why natural candidacy protocols like find something, find some way to relax, find a way to laugh. What works for you? Comedy special, like whatever works to relax and unwind. Breath work is a must. Okay. What else suppresses natural cancer cells? Chronic inflammation, oxidative stress. Too much alcohol, too much exercise, too much of anything increases oxidative stress. So again, go easy. Um, high sugar consumption, that includes processed carbohydrates and sugar, not your fruits and veggies, and not your healthy starches like purple potatoes, Japanese yams, etc. cetera. Uh, maintain healthy blood sugar, long-term exposure to immunosuppressive drugs that a lot of people are on for autoimmune issues, or of course, alcohol intake. I've mentioned that. And then heavy metals and toxins. If you're exposed to heavy metals and toxins, weakens the immune system, even mycotoxins weakens the immune system, and it could lead to the suppression of natural killer cells and T cells. All right. What I want to share with you now is just a couple tips of how you might want to begin to incorporate these into your day. And then I'm going to add just my favorite nutritional supplements uh, and what you should be looking for. So in the morning, what you want to be able to do is get outside if you can, get a little morning sunlight, get your feet in the grass in an ideal world for a little bit of grounding, breathe in some fresh air, ease into the day, and also get some antioxidants and polyphenols at your breakfast. Not a steak for breakfast. I'm sorry to all the people who recommend a steak for breakfast. In no way, shape, or form is that any natural human diet. Get in things that allow you to hydrate your body, that have high antioxidants, and that also will help with the, I know I'm going to put this in air quotes, cleanse, push through what is already in your digestive system out so that you can have a bowel movement and you can begin the process of food in and bacteria and waste out. Hydrate, right? Get water in your body, herbal teas, um, green juices, if whatever you want, just like get that in. And of course, we always recommend a good smoothie, wild blueberries, berries in general. You don't have to make it a smoothie. You can just eat some fruit if you'd like. And of course, you can get in protein. I'm not saying that, but get some great antioxidants in your body. All right. Post-lunch, if you can, go for a walk. Like try to reset the day, healthy lunch, go for a little walk. It helps with postprandial blood sugar levels. Breathe in some air, get a little sunlight, really great as well. Evening, now watch the sunset. Why? Helps to reduce cortisol and stress. A couple hours later, melatonin will begin to rise through what's called the suprachiasmatic part of your um, hypothalamus and pituitary gland. It allows the body to say, oh, it's now nighttime. We need to calm down. We need to reduce fight or flight. We need to produce melatonin. Melatonin, very powerful anti-cancer, antioxidant, and um, anti-cancer hormone as well. Um, what else do I like? Making sure that you follow that three, two, one sleep formula. Three hours before bed, no more food. Maybe even four hours. Two hours before bed, reduce those liquids. One hour before bed, no more blue light. Journal, read, relax, conversate, meditate, all, all of the things. Stretch, but get into a nighttime routine that allows you to get eight solid hours of sleep per night if you're able to. Okay, favorite nutritional supplements. I'm only giving you the ones and the milligrams per day as to what has the most clinical outcome, all right? So medicinal, medicinal mushrooms, things like reishi, maitake, shiitake, turkey tail, amazing. Uh, a couple grams per day, at least three. Increases natural cell, killer cell activity. So keep in mind, this is more for if you had cancer, but for maintenance, a couple grams. Like I use two grams a day. Uh, increases macrophage and dendric uh, white blood cell activation. What's the next one? Curcumin, right? Most people have heard about that. Great product, one to two grams a day. Vitamin D3 and K2. Most people get their K2 in their activated multi or the daily nutritional support. You should definitely be using those as a cornerstone for all your B vitamins, all your antioxidants, et cetera. But um, great to get. Most people need four to 5,000 IUs a day. Don't, I mean, again, like, I don't want to say don't listen to like, but don't listen. Run your labs, run the stress minute metabolism test, find out your vitamin D. We've run tens of thousands of that lab. Most people need four to 5,000 IUs a day as an adult. Melatonin, um, general use after the age of like 40, two to five milligrams a night. If someone's dealing with cancer, 10 to 20 milligrams. Zinc, 
25 to 30 milligrams a day, up to 50 total. Uh, really great. Selenium, I won't go, all of these help, by the way, all of these help with uh, increasing T cells and, and natural killer cells. Selenium, 200 micrograms a day, but again, that's going to be in a daily activated multi or daily nutritional support. Omega-3s, 2 to 3 grams a day, completely agree with that, higher EPA to DHA. NAC, another great one, how much? 600 milligrams to 200 milligrams a day. Most capsules are 500 to 600 milligrams, two a day. Uh, and probiotics, a good quality multi-strain probiotic, something like the daily probiotic support that survives the stomach acid and can repopulate. Okay, so what do I use? And what do I recommend? Just for, um, not, not a cancer-based protocol. This is not a cancer-based protocol. Please go to stephencabral.com slash cancer. I don't, I don't want to do an injustice to the cancer community by just summing it up in a 10-minute podcast, right? That's, that's unfair. My top ones preventative-wise, daily mushroom support, daily mushroom immune support. Next one, Inflamasooth. Contains ginger, Indian frankincense, also known as Boswellia, uh, called Apriflex for the patented version, and turmeric. Uh, other ingredients, great as ingredients as well. FM zinc, 25 mil that's 25 uh, milligrams of zinc added to your daily nutritional support or daily activated multivitamin, which has 15. Sinus and immune support contains licorice root extract, great for viruses. It also contains NAC, uh, 750 milligrams, so you get a full dosage right there bromelain, and other very powerful factors. Daily probiotic support, I've mentioned that. Uh, daily omega-3 support, I've mentioned that. Two soft gels a day with lunch or dinner. And vitamin D3, um, you can add the K2 if you want, but the K2 is already in the activated multi or the, uh, the daily nutritional support. I use the daily nutritional support. So here's the thing. It's not a small stack, but it's not a large stack. But all of those have been clinically shown on top of your diet, on top of the sauna, on top of the exercise, all the other things, the whole de-stress protocol that I wrote about, the rain barrel effect, all of those help to boost your natural killer cells. I can't recommend them enough. I can't link them up on today's podcast page. But all the formulas that I use and I use in my practice are over at Equal Life. The short link is just stephencabral.com slash shop. Takes you over to Equal Life. That's our global functional medicine practice. We work with over 100,000 people a year. You don't need to work with us. I just want you to know that you can work with an integrative health practitioner, which we are not affiliated with. Uh, and that's great too. I just want to make sure that you know that you have options. And that in this absolutely insane and toxic world that we live in, where all sorts of things are just released into the environment, we need to be able to fight back with our diet, our exercise, our toxin removal, good rest, emotional-based balance, and yes, scientifically backed nutritional supplements, which are just taken from nature at a much larger degree. That's it. So hopefully this was helpful. I appreciate all of you. Of course, if the show is helpful, do feel free to share it with anyone you believe it could serve. The URL today is stephencabral.com slash 3401. Take care, buddy. Have an amazing rest of the day. Talk to you soon. Thanks so much for tuning into today's show. Before you go, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I want to make sure that you're getting our daily content, not missing out on anything. Functional medicine, wellness, weight gain, weight loss, anti-aging, living longer, stronger, and all of the most cutting edge research. And if there's any topics you want to hear, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Take care.